Hi, my name is Steve Palmer from JPS Electrical Services and in today's how-to video we're going to be looking at recessed downlighters. There are typically two types of recessed downlighter that you'll find. Uh, one type uses a 12 volt transformer, low voltage, and then you've got your, your mains voltage which is 230, 240 volt. Now the reason I've got these units laid out here are because there are different types um, of fixing that keep the bulb in place which some may catch, catch you out. Um, so let's have a look at this one. This is a low voltage one. Now I've, I've got the transformer attached to this one and the reason I've done this is because sometimes you'll change a light bulb in your fitting, uh, go to switch the light back on and it doesn't work. So you'll try another bulb and it still doesn't work. The reason being is it's probably a failed transformer. Uh, these things, they tend to get hot, uh, they get too close to the hot lamp and it, it makes them fail. So if you change the bulb and it's still not working, transformer. So this type is a twist, a twist type. You'll notice that the, the lamp is held in place by a clasp and just that fits around the lamp itself. Now the low, low voltage lamps, light bulbs, you see the, the two pins there. All they do is they line up with that one there Give them a push, new fittings, so this one's a bit tight, and then put the, the clasp around it, line up those two bits there, and just give them a twist clockwise. That's it, that's, that's the bulb changed on that one. This one, these are the type that can catch you out. Uh, this will normally be found in a bathroom above a shower head normally. Um, you may find that you have to pop it out of the ceiling very slightly and all you do is just twist anti-clockwise. Again you can see the clasp, same two pin um, lamp holder and then just to put it back in twist it anti-clockwise, uh, sorry, twist it clockwise, anti-clockwise to undo it, clockwise to do it up. One thing you will notice on this one, I said that these are used in bathrooms, there's a rubber seal all the way along here and a rubber seal that sits along the top there as well and that's so that it achieves its IP rating, it doesn't let moisture penetrate the unit. Uh, word of warning, these prongs are absolutely lethal. If you put your finger like that and let it go, it's going to hurt. Okay, so please do be careful when you work with these things. If you do actually have to take it out of the ceiling, um, they bite really badly. So that's the twist type on the shower ones. So that's that's your low voltage ones. They use the pins that just line up and push into place. Um, if you are replacing a light, I advise take a standard one out, put an LED one in. They last longer, they use less energy and it's going to save you money. So that's your low, low voltage ones. Your mains voltage is another shower one. You've got the, the rubber seal on the top there. This one's actually held in place by a spring clip. And what you'll notice is those two bits there, you just get your fingers and pinch. That enables it to drop out of the holder and release the light bulb. These are a twist type. They can be really fiddly in some types of spotlight, but 
it's just a case of lining up the holes and twisting it clockwise. Pushing it in. I'm sorry, I said again that this one's used in the bathroom. There's a second rubber seal inside there. So once that's in place, no moisture can get inside the unit. So that's pushed into place. Pinched together, there we go. It's going nowhere. This type we've just seen on the low voltage ones, just a twist. Ouch, see, there we go, bites. And finally, the last type um, of the most commonly found fixings for these lamp holders is just a twist. And again, it's held in with the, with the clasp. So twist it anti-clockwise, and then to install the, the, the lamp into the lamp holder, just line up those, those holes there, and then just twist it clockwise. So I hope that's been of some use to you. Um, it is a simple job, providing you know what to do. Oh, hi. I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you found something useful. Please do remember, if you're not confident or competent working with electrics, please call your local electrician. There are more videos to follow, so please take a look.